Hey, it's Kelly Janae with Ethereal Ecology and Lido. Say hi. Say hi, Lido. Meow. Meow. Um, this is day 21 on 20 or 125 milligrams of lamotrigine, and this is the reducing the dosage series. I wanted to talk a little bit about what I was experiencing this weekend in regards to uh, my emotional reaction or non-reaction to some of the things that my friends were talking about. I have very conscious friends, and when we get together, we talk about the shit that matters, okay? Um, you know, like the state of our political uh, milieu, society needing to really care more about the environment, the urgency with which all of this needs to happen, or, you know, or else the, the consequences seriously are dire. Um, a lot of what we talked about this weekend was about healing, and I actually wrote a journal article that I will link to this video, um, it was all very timely, about Western medicine um, and that industry, the basically, you know, corporation of Western medicine and how we are not as individuals and as a society empowered to take responsibility for our health and to take holistic natural approaches to solving the issues within us and becoming basically a slave to the the doctors and the medical professionals even though they're basically all trained just to dole out medications um you know some people obviously need medical care but a lot of times you can you can focus in on your on your uh condition and figure out what your problem is simply by having awareness and then understanding that there's different methods that you can take, you know, acupuncture, spiritual healing, um, herbal medicine, exercise, getting in touch with nature. Um, and yeah, so my friend told me about this website called Holistic Lives Matter. And he was saying that and this might seem like a conspiracy theory, but the more that you pay attention and hopefully like the people listening to this are sort of aware to this anyways. And if you're not, then, you know, hear me out because there's a lot of sneaky things going on in this world. But this website's called Holistic Lives Matter. And it's about how all of these holistic doctors who have made dis remarkable discoveries and breakthroughs about holistic ways to heal people with chronic diseases like cancer to completely eradicate those from their body so that they're completely healthy again um they're disappearing like basically they're getting whacked um by the government by the top one percent or whomever controls this world or is trying to control this world because they're afraid of the power of the people so they're trying to diminish us and keep us powerless, like I said. But, you know, hearing that, and we started to have this conversation, my friends, like, you know, if you keep doing what you're doing and becoming ver vocal about it and having a following, which is what I intend on doing, and doing these personal practices healing in your everyday life, you could be in trouble. And I'm like, kind of realizing that, yeah, absolutely. When you, when you put your energy into pretty much changing the way that people think so that they can change their lifestyles and the way that they communicate with others and interact with the world so as to, that, that changes, that can change the entire structure of our earth. And that's really the point you know you you influence people on a people to people basis you don't do it from the top down this is about us this is not about them we are all we are all one and together we can overcome all the all the bs um all the conspiracies all the corruption um just by coming together and getting back in touch with our environment um but it, i think what happened post full moon is i got a little bit numb because i started to think a lot about you know, we're talking about these really big issues and what needs to change in the world. And it can seem really daunting and it can seem really overwhelming. And a lot of people are super hopeless, honestly, um, about it and pessimistic. And I think I spent a lot of time ruminating on really the, 
the urgency with which a shift needs to happen or else the environment is just going to I mean she's already rupturing and where you know you look you look out at the world you go to stores and it's just plastic 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 they give you plastic bags and whenever I ask hey I don't need a plastic bag people look at me like I'm a little bit crazy people ask me are you sure I'm like yeah I'm pretty sure that I can carry something out on my own um, but you think about the speed with which and the quantity by which people buy commodities you know, I'm buying, I always feel terrible going out and buying anything because I know that it's going to end up, even if it's recyclable, in, you know, this process that's extremely toxic to the environment. Um, when, and so I'm trying to make things on my own, you know, all my cleaning products, all my hair products, um, my toothpaste, I just use coconut oil and baking soda, basically. Um, it works just fine, it works great. Uh, so. You know, th there's these little shifts that I'm taking in my life that I had not even had the space to take because of school, because of corporate jobs and things, and being emancipated from that has literally given me the time and the space to do the responsible things that I need to do, like make a worm composting bin because I have tons and tons of, like my entire fridge and freezer are full of compost. I just refuse to throw it away. And since since I started composting, I have had heart, I have not filled a single trash bag. You know, I only throw it out because it starts to smell bad after three weeks of being, you know, a quarter full. It's crazy. Um, so, you know, I, I think I kind of shut down a little bit the last couple of days because I just was feeling so, um, overwhelmed and and I think what happens when we feel overwhelmed by these issues in the world is that we just kind of shut them off and that's a defense mechanism and it's important to understand that's a defense mechanism because if you get too overwhelmed with something it can it can make you very sick it can um, do a lot of things but at the same time you have we we have to focus on the things that matter right now there is no time to waste we need to change our lives. We need to understand that we are responsible for the world that we live in, um, for our own lives, uh, God, for our neighbors, for our, for the animals, for for the trees, for all of these living creatures who are begging us to pay attention um, and to do something about it. So, in these last couple of days, uh, this is exciting. I have discovered the field of eco psychology which is essentially um, viewing the ecocidal state of the environment as a direct consequence of the psychological disorder of the human race, um, which is fairly complicated, but basically I'm pursuing ecotherapy as a sort of uh, discipline in my healing practice and hopefully, not hopefully, but yeah, my career, um, which involves using environmental um, awareness and connection to heal people and to heal communities and um, I'm starting the certification this week and I'm super excited about it uh, but yeah I've been ranting and this is still the reducing the doses series darn it um, and you can see probably how much my life has been fluctuating over the 21 days that I've even started this and um, you know every day is so different uh, but I would say that I feel really optimistic right now about my path and my ability to... Bugs. Bugs are so cool. Hello, little bug. Um, my ability to really impact the world. And I hope that, you know, over time I can inspire people to really just take responsibility and to care. Like, you have to care. Like you got to care about the things that matter. People, if we want the human race and all other living creatures to exist on this planet, we have to care and now's the time. Um, so, I care about all of you. I care about these bugs. I care about these trees. And um, I care about my mental health and your mental health. So, reducing the dosage is still going on. And I feel pretty good that I'll be able to go down to 100 milligrams really soon. Thank you for listening. Um, stay tuned. Maybe there'll be the videos will be shorter next time. Maybe not. Whatever. Bye.